I really connect with Yiddish women writers. They kind of really speak to me about the kind of interior experience of being a woman. And I think that's what a lot of this work is connected to. Two Eyes Wide Open at the Edge of Dawn is a line from Celia Dropkin poem translated from Yiddish. It's my first solo show with Marlborough Gallery and my first show of paintings on this scale. And I think I was really interested in what happens with the methodology I have, which is working from quite small dolls, uh, when suddenly they become like life-size or bigger than life-size. Most of the works in this show are singular portraits, whereas normally I'm really interested in the interaction between figures. Instead, it's this kind of confronting, looking to the future. It references a lot of like traditions in portraiture, you know, like uh, paintings as wedding presents that, all that, are, that are made by sight sizing, you know, where they hold the pencil and check the size. And I think that working on this scale allows you to have a relationship with them when you look at them that is less like looking into something intimate, but is more being really confronted with something. Also, there's some reoccurring themes, which so there's the like orange orb, which is a lamp in my studio, but it kind of looks like the sun, the sun rising or setting. In Dorothea Tanning, a lot of in a lot of her paintings, there's her small dog, kind of represents knowledge, and um, my uh, rescue dog Fang goes in a lot of the work. I was kind of interested in that and started to think of him as this kind of guardian or protector. The prints upstairs, the monotypes um, and etchings, are kind of continuations of that theme, or some of the monotypes I made as studies for paintings, just kind of exploring some of the same ideas um, just through different processes. So you have this relationship between painting and print process. Historically, this is a really important gallery to me because of so many of the artists that I've uh, been really informed by. And it's nice to feel like kind of contributing to that legacy. It's kind of terrifying, but also um, really exciting and, and just a real privilege.